guys, I'm Laura Vitale, and on this episode of Learning Kitchen, I want to show you how I make my waffle French toast. It is so easy to make. I absolutely love making it for breakfast on weekends, especially if you've got people coming over because it looks like you really put a lot of effort into it, but it really didn't. It's just incredibly simple and easy. The ingredients you'll need are just a very few of them. What I've got here is some bread. You can use any bread you want. I'm using my homemade honey oat bread because it's just delicious, so I'm using that. You need a couple of eggs, some brown sugar, a small little pinch of cinnamon, vanilla, and milk. That's it. You also need some melted butter and your waffle uh, maker or your waffle iron. I've got mine preheating so it is going to be ready for us whenever we are ready to use it. All right, I've got a little baking dish here and in here I'm going to put my eggs. I'm going to give those a quick little whisk and I'm going to add in my milk. This is pretty much my standard, um, you know, my standard, uh, what am I trying to say? Please help me. French toast. <laughs> I'm just, I'm going to make a smaller batch of it. I'm not using uh, three eggs and a full amount of milk. And I'm going to use my brown sugar and vanilla. I love brown sugar. You could use regular granulated sugar in your French toast if you want to. I always have happened to use brown sugar, so that's why I use that. And we also need a small splash of vanilla. This is like the flavorings of things. Now, what you can do is you can really use any kind of bread that you want with this. Traditionally, you use like an eggy bread to make French toast, like a challah bread or a brioche. I've got my honey oat bread that you guys have seen here uh, before, and it is just so good because it's sweet, yet slightly salty. It's just it's perfect and it absorbs this just beautifully. And it's been um, sitting on the, it's a couple of days old, so. Uh, it's a little stale, which makes for great French toast. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple slices at a time, and I am going to just dunk them in there and let them sit there for a few minutes until, not a few minutes, a few seconds on each side. You really want that custard to be soaked up by the bread. So I'll say about 15 seconds on each side. You let it sit, you know, kind of soak it up. Now I'm going to do two slices at a time because my waffle maker, uh, the little squares are a bit on the smaller side. And I just make sure I brush it with some melted butter. And this is a heat proof spatula, so it's not going to melt. Just make sure you brush it because it gives you flavor and it also prevents from sticking, um, which is always good. But for anything, we just want flavor, right? <laughs> I'm being greedy here. Shocking, I know. All right, I'm going to move this closer to me. I just put it down like so. You can see my slices are a bit bigger, but that's okay. Because I'm gonna close this up and I'm gonna let that cook until the light goes green. In the meantime, I'm gonna soak up the rest of my bread. Can I fit this in here? Yes, I can. Just taking my last batch. Oh, look at that. They are Amazing, they smell amazing. Essentially what you made is French toast, but you cooked it in the waffle iron. All I need right now is some maple syrup and I will be in heaven, but I don't have any maple syrup right now, so this is gonna have to do. I don't have it near me, but I'm excited. They're gonna be hot. Also, what you can do with the rest of them if you don't plan on eating them all in one sitting, like tonight it's just my husband and I, we're not gonna eat all six of them, or five over there. I am going, how many are there? There's five in total, I can't even count. I'm gonna just freeze them and then when I want them, I just take them out and pop them in the toaster or you can even put them in a hot oven. Either way, you can get them thawed and have homemade, you know, waffle french toast whenever you want it. It's so good. Mmm. I guess like crispy, so it's really delicious. And it's not as soft, but it's just, it's traditional flavors of the French toast, but it's got a little bit more texture to it and a bit more flair. Laura in the kitchen.com will have the recipe written for you. Let me know what else you want to see in the waffle maker because there's so many different things we can do with them. And I am going to show you other things that you can do using it. But if there's anything that you want to see in particular, let me know down below. Hope you've enjoyed spending time with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.